Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Ken Maurer. And Ken is president of the West Central Ohio Land Conservancy. Ken, how are you doing this evening? Very good. Thank you. Well, we'll talk a little bit about why we're here tonight. But first, let's talk a little bit about yourself. Where are you from, Ken? I'm from uh, Toledo, Ohio, originally, and uh, now live uh, a little northwest of Bowling Green. Uh, tell us about your background, too. Okay. Well, um, I've uh, done a lot of things uh, in my career, uh, environmental management. Uh, I went to law school at night while I was uh, doing that, and um, now then did environmental law, and eventually that led me to some agricultural law as well. Well, you know, of course, our focus on an Ohio country today is all about the environment, all about the land, all about agriculture. So you're crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's for our audience is concerned. So let's talk about your position here at the West Central Ohio Land Conservancy, and let's also talk about uh, that mission. Okay. Well, um, I'm the, uh, the president of the Board of Trustees, or Board of Directors, I guess I should say, for West Central Ohio Land Conservancy. Only been in that position for not quite a year, uh, but I've been on the board since 2014. And um, our mission is to help preserve land, natural areas and agricultural land um, in Ohio, uh, primarily through the use of what are called conservation easements. How does this differ from conservation programs that are sponsored for and by the uh, Farm Service Agency and the Ohio Department of Agriculture and NRCS? Okay. Well, we, we actually do use um, some funding from the Ohio Department of Agriculture through what's called the uh, Local Ag Easement Purchase Program. Um, we also have utilized funds from NRCS for um, funding easements. And then the third mechanism is private easements, as it's called, which are donated by individuals uh, without any reimbursement. Let's talk about the process of putting land in the conservancy. What's, what's the process that people have to go through? Well, it's a competitive process um, uh, if you're seeking funding. Um, but otherwise, uh, it is uh, in several interviews uh, with us and then um, an application process. And um, the, the process typically takes anywhere from, for a private easement, six to 12 months to 18 to 24 months for one of the easements through ODA. Because as you were talking about it, a lot of I's to, to dot and T's to cross. <laughs> Well, basically, let's talk about the land itself, the purpose of putting it in the conservancy and the benefits that the public as well as the landowners can achieve from that. Okay. Well, the primary uh, idea is to keep it in the form that the landowner wants. So if he uh, has agricultural land um, through the use of the conservation easement, it's a perpetual um, perpetually on the deed, um, and that land can only be used for agricultural purposes in perpetuity. Uh, it prevents it from being developed for housing or other types of things, and some people find that to be a good thing, and others might find it to be detrimental if you're a, uh, if you're a d developer, for example. Well, when you're looking at the amount of land that's part of West Central Ohio Land Conservancy, how much land are we talking about right now, and what's the goal? Is there any ultimate goal, uh, percentage-wise, of how much land do you think needs to be set aside like this? Well, we, we know that Ohio is second in the country to the amount of land lost through development, agricultural land. And so it's, I think, critical if all of us want to eat going forward, <laughs> that, that we preserve some of that land. Um, we are now at something like 1,700 acres that we've preserved, which isn't a huge number, but uh, we have several easements that are in process that will boost that total up to probably 2,500 or so. And combined with all of the other uh, land conservancies in Ohio, uh, we're talking about, you know, hundreds of thousands of acres of land that are being preserved. 
you know, we're talking not only about preserving that land, but there's a, a twofold purpose, too. It also preserves the environment. It's not just protecting it from development, but making sure that, that there is habitat. So I'm sure you get a lot of support from organizations like Pheasants Forever and different places like that that want to make sure that there are habitats available for uh, nature to continue as well. Well, um, yeah, that's one of the things that we are, in fact, we've just recently established an endowment fund uh, specifically for the purpose of trying to preserve natural areas. Um, so that's, that's something that we're definitely working on. Um, and, uh, but, but our, and several of our private easements have uh, been for natural areas. So, um, yeah, you're, you're right on. Well, Ken, you can't do it alone. Let's talk about some of the other individuals that are part of this and the organization and moving forward if somebody wants to get more information or get involved. So first, let's talk about the people that are helping you and the people that are part of this organization. Okay. Well, we have a, a board of directors that um, currently consists of 11 members, and um, the, the executive committee is uh, myself as president, Amanda Wishmeyer, Vice President, uh, Jim Spurgat, Secretary, and Tyler Black is the Treasurer. And uh, then we have a number of other um, members with uh, a variety of backgrounds, um, that, uh, including Tyler's uh, involved with the uh, Johnny Appleseed Park District. Chad Carroll is another board member who's with the Hancock County Parks District. And uh, so, we, we try to cover a, a variety of backgrounds uh, on the board. Well, that's important, too, you know, to have those synergies, those like minds of those organizations and individuals from those organizations to be a part of this and to move it forward. How many uh, counties and what are the counties that are involved in this? We, uh, we cover Allen, Auglaize, Hancock, Hardin, Mercer, Putnam, and Van Wert counties. Well, Ken, for more information, where do people go? Okay, well, you can call... Um, area code 567-204-9126, or our website is www.wcolc.org. Well, it's an interesting organization that for sure has a bright future, and it's something that's needed here in West Central Ohio, throughout Ohio, and throughout the United States. And it's uh, amazing how far you guys have come, and I hope you have continued success in this program. Well, thank you very much. Ken Maurer has been our guest, president of the West Central Ohio Land Conservancy. We'll be back with more In Ohio Country today, right after this.